Perl has a very long list of standard functions built in, which I can't all cover here in detail. So I just pick a couple of examples that we will then use in, in source code examples. Um, for example, uh, here a couple of um, array and, and uh, string processing functions. If you have an expression that returns a string, then the split command with this regular expression will look for a separation pattern inside this expression. For example, if you have a string like this line that comes out of the etc password file on a Unix system, which is a colon separated list of uh, fields that represent the user database entry for this person here, uh, then you can convert this with split. If you search for the pattern consisting only of the character colon into a list of fields that have been separated by this. But this can't just, this doesn't have to be just a single character. It can be, for example, um, a arbitrary length sequence of white space or because regular expressions are available in, in many of these functions uh, as a easy to use pattern recognition mechanisms. These operators can actually be very powerful. Uh, join is then the opposite. You have a list and you join it together in a string and you can insert this uh, separator here. So if we want to, <coughs> for example, uh, split this string up into an array, once we have it in an array, we can do an array assignment to have the individual array elements assigned to more human readable variables. Or we can, for example, reverse the entire array and join it back together with a colon in order to get another line where we have just swapped the orders of these elements. Likewise, uh, substring, for example, allows you to extract a subset, uh, a substring from a string from a certain offset, uh, a certain number of bytes or characters, depending on whether this is a byte string or a Unicode string. Here are some very useful operators that operate on lists. The map operator uh, executes the block for each element of the list. So this is really a loop operator and it will then evaluate each of these blocks in list context and whatever the uh, block returns, all of these uh, lists it gets back will be concatenated and that's the return value. Uh, grep on the other hand uh, evaluates the block and uh, each block element is interpreted as, as a boolean value and then it will return only the subset of list elements for which this block here returns true. And that's something very similar to what the uh, grab Unix tool does for lines in a file, but here it's applied to list elements. The local variable inside these blocks is always the dollar underscore variable, so you don't actually have to declare a loop variable. Perl has this default scalar variable that is used in a number of these uh, operations. There's also a sort command where the elements of the list are sorted and in the block you provide a statement that returns either zero or a positive or a negative value depending on uh, whether the two list elements that have been handed over in this case via var local variables dollar $A and dollar $B, uh, depending on how they compare. And there is this <coughs> CMP uh, command that performs this string comparison. If A is in string order less than B, then this will be a minus one. If A is greater than B, this will be a plus one. And if they are, uh, if they compare equal, then the return value will be a zero. If instead you want a numerical comparison for the purpose of sorting, you use the less than equal greater than operator here. And in this example, we use all three of these in a 
single expression. So we have here a sort expression and at the end of we have here sort and then the block and then we need a list and that list is returned by that grab uh, call and that again needs a list and that list is returned by this map call and that again needs a list and that list is prepared by the keys operator. So we really have to read the entire expression from the back. We first have a hash table percent users, then we extract a list of all the keys of users. These keys may differ unnecessarily between being uppercase or lowercase, so we convert them all to lowercase. Each element of this list here is assigned to dollar underscore. Dollar underscore is fed through a function that maps a string to all lowercase letters. All of these results of that blocks are concatenated back by map into a list, are now fed into the grab command, where each of these is again assigned to dollar underscore. This regular expression, if it does not follow the great uh, the equal tilde operator, then by default it will operate on the dollar, dollar underscore default variable. So we're now uh, filtering out here all lines that look, for example, a little bit like a CRS ID. Uh, at the start of the string, you have one or more uh, lowercase letters of the alphabet, followed by one or more digits, and that goes until the end of the string. And if these keys that look a little bit like CRS ID, uh, <clears throat> these we have now filtered down, and we now sort them by just uh, alphabetic string sorting. If we wanted the reverse sort order, what do you have to do? You just swap the dollar $A and the dollar $B, so there is no reverse sorting operator necessary. And just a couple of more uh, standard functions worth uh, mentioning. Uh, Perl is very practical by offering readily available functions for commonly occurring problems. So there is a chop or chomp function that just removes either the trailing character in a string or it specifically checks whether the trailing character is a line feed character and only removes the line feed character at the end because it happens quite often that if you read through a plain text file, you actually want to process the lines with the uh, line feed character removed. Pack and unpack are incredibly powerful functions for either building binary records from lists or parsing binary records into uh, Perl arrays. Um, they have a, a string-based format syntax built in a little bit similar to what printf and scanf to in the uh, in the C programming language, but with, with many, many more types. Um, the printf command itself is also available in form of the sprintf function, where you have all the facilities that C offers you, for example, outputting numbers with different forms of alignment and padding, space padding, leading zero padding, uh, adjustment of uh, the um, number of significant digits with which a floating point number is output. Uh, <clears throat> sprintf is actually perhaps the function that in many other programming languages that, like JavaScript, I miss most that they don't have anything comparable. Um, shift, unshift, push and pop, add or remove either the first or the last array element. So you can use an array a little bit like a, like a FIFO or like a last in, first out uh, stack. That's what's inspired here by the push and pop elements. There, is a, there are die and warn commands, which you can use to output error messages. Uh, die will abort the Perl script, whereas warn will just output a warning message. A curious convention here is that if there is no, end, uh, no line feed at the end of the string that you pass on to die or warn, then Perl will automatically append the file name and the line number where this Happen. So you can decide whether you want to refer to the source code uh, where the pr your program died. If it's a sort of internal error that should uh, cause someone to look at the source code to see what went wrong, or if it's a normal error um, 
where nothing has gone wrong in the code, then you just put a backslash n at the end of your string and you get a normal message out. Die is also the mechanism for raising an exception. So Perl has a full featured object oriented uh, exception handling mechanism and whatever value you pass over to die will be used to represent the exception that has been handled and then there is an eval statement that can be used to catch exceptions. Uh, numerous string processing facilities I mentioned already lowercase uppercase but also more specialized things like LC first UC first to just uppercase or lowercase the first letter of a string uh, you can convert with these between the uh, ask your Unicode value and the corresponding integer numbers or you can do not only decimal uh, string to number conversion which happens automatically but also hexadecimal or octal. Uh, I also mentioned briefly that inside a subroutine you can check whether the subroutine is executed in um, in array context or in, in list context or in scalar context. And <clears throat> there are also these uh, require and use statements with which you can import library modules. So Perl has a full featured uh, system for uh, defining modules which have their own uh, namespaces such that you can write comprehensive libraries. Perl provides uh, pretty much all of the standard C and POSIX functions and system calls for doing arithmetic and low-level access to files, network sockets, other inter-process communication mechanisms. So have a look at if you need anything in the Perl func man page which lists all the built-in standard uh, Perl functions and provides the documentation and if you want to use any add-on modules the ones that come as part of the Perl distribution are listed in man Perl modlib on this man page but there are thousands of others that you can download from the cpan web page. <laughs>